Hey, happy Monday, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. We got sunshine. I'm going to go out for a nice walk today. It's just going to be awesome. Today, we're going to be uh, talking about the Diablos raid that is coming out this week. Uh, I will be streaming it on Wednesday, probably in the middle of the day, uh, just trying to get to level 100 and finding the finalized strats. But in this video, we're going to go ahead and dig in and find out all of the information and units that are going to be readily available and viable for Diablos. So if this is your first time in a raid video that I've made, uh, basically in your raid prep, you're going to want to take a look at all the different units that you as an individual have and see what you can piece together for a viable strategy. I know there are lots of players who are new to the game right now. And so I'm going to take the time to explain why I'm putting the things I'm putting together, because I think it's important the new players understand, you know, this might be their first raid. This raid is going to be pretty accessible to a lot of people. And so it's going to be a great opportunity to teach players about raid compositions. Let's go into formations and we're going to take a look first at the uh, first formation I have here, which is Slash. Now, if you know anything about Diablos, Diablos is weak to Slash and he is pretty much strong against magic. He has no defense, but he has 20 spirit and he's immune to spirit reduction. So he has 25% magic resistance. So if you're considering like bringing a magic composition, you can still do it. Uh, you just have to make sure to do it right. And uh, we'll talk about that as we get into our light element magic composition here in a little bit. But the majority of players probably are going to be successful by bringing either uh, light element slashing units or some combination of slash chaining units. Uh, most likely you're gonna wanna bring a bonus unit and I think Tidus in most situations is the best bonus unit to bring because he's accessible to every single player because Tidus was given for free. And Tidus also has an incredible ability on him which we'll just go into his primary kit here. And he has access to Quick Hit, which is gonna lower the target CT and raise his own agility. Now, Diablos is immune to agility breaking, uh, but he's not immune to steal time or CT reduction. So having an attack that reduces CT whenever you're in a raid situation or an attack that can steal time, like using Ziza, you're gonna enable your units to chain more on that enemy. So Titus having access to that, having access to Slash, is gonna be very powerful. Not only that, but Titus can also equip Leviathan. Now there are two espers that are really important here for this fight in pretty much every raid that you do, and that's gonna be Leviathan and Fenrir. The reason these units or these espers are important is because they do have access to Esper Killer, and so they both offer a very powerful boost, uh, particularly for Leviathan that has water attack as well on Titus, is just gonna make him a pretty beastly unit in this raid, even if he doesn't have the light element type advantage that you might want on a dark unit. Now, let's talk about some of the other units in this composition and why they are in this composition. Uh, Gilgamesh, interestingly, I'm only going to keep at 99 right now, but Gilgamesh has access to an ability called Kotetsu. Now, Kotetsu is extremely powerful, and it does lower slash resistance for the target. Now, there are a couple other units who can lower slash resistance, which we'll be talking about, like uh, 120 uh, EX Stern, but Gilgamesh is kind of the universal, right? Like, you don't even have to have him 99. Just having access to a maxed out Kotetsu is going to help you increase your damage significantly. Uh, we do have Oron in here. And the reason I have Oron is because I wanted to test him out. I wanted to see, you know, he has a two hit slash ability. So anytime you're in a raid, a multi hit slashing ability is going to be great or a multi hit ability against the enemy's weakness. And Oron does hit like a truck. Now I'm a little cautious about Oron because we've only really seen Oron succeed in Trials of Reckoning so far. And I'm not sure he's gonna be the most powerful unit in this raid. Similarly, uh, El Sorel as well. Now, I would be putting together a light slashing composition immediately to try and clear this raid. The problem I have though is I don't have access to Ramza, who in a lot of light slash compositions is a critical unit because of his triple slash hit 
It's a little unfortunate. Um, I'm a little bit bummed out about it. But if you do have Ramza, you can probably pull together some type of light slashing composition, utilizing like Cecil, Warrior of Light, uh, King Rob potentially. Uh, El Sorel though uh, is gonna have, a, she's a medium bonus unit. But the reason she's in here is she has a three hit drain rush attack. So very powerful for chaining, especially if you can get bells off or any type of AP generation off. You turn all of her abilities off and only leave that on. It's gonna be a fast way to generate slash chain for your party, and it's going to deal some pretty good damage. Even if you're in a light slash comp, it's even better because it boosts the chain up for light slash units and has a potential to go over the damage cap. Now we have a lot more compositions to talk about, so let's dive in here. Uh, light magic composition is an interesting one to think about because we do have Yuna, we do have Sakura, and we also have the capability of lowering magic attack. Now, the boss does have 25% magic resistance and 20 spirit. However, we do have, you know, access to lowering magic attack. We have access to lowering light resistance through El Shura. Uh, we also have access to lowering area resistance through the Black Rose Helena VC. So it's absolutely possible that you could probably try and do this with a light element magic composition because Yuna also has access to CT reduction as well, very similar to Titus. So Yuna spamming that. If you have Kilfe, do magic attack resistance down. If you have El Shura, do light resistance down and area resistance down. It's quite possible that you would be able to chain holy enough times right uh the only attack that would not be holy is kill phase uh limit break right otherwise you can just have kill phase set to limit break and holy and she'll spam holy the rest of the time so you'll be able to chain light the drawbacks kind of this um if you didn't know is you can't chain magic right but you can chain light element so you're not going to get the double bonus that like if you were running slash and light element that you would get but i do think it's pretty viable as well one of the things also to think about with this composition is that if you look here, I did not give damage cap up because I don't think this composition is going to hit the damage cap right away all the time. And I think it's going to be more important to focus on giving that magic attack up to kind of deal with the resistance that Bahamut has, or sorry, uh, Diablos has. Now, there's a couple units that are left over here, um, and then there's a couple other compositions I want to highlight. But these are kind of like outlier units, right? These are units that you can utilize if maybe you don't have a perfect slash composition, if maybe you run a different composition than most standard players. Uh, these are units that a lot of players frequently have, and maybe they're a little confused on how to utilize. A uh, Rain is a very powerful raid unit, uh, particularly when the enemy has slash weakness. Now, Rain has access to Soul Prominence, which is a three hit based slashing attack, which is based on his magic. So utilizing Rain in some type of a composition where, you know, he's gonna be with maybe other magic users or maybe other slash users, a great idea would maybe to be run him with like a spell blade composition. That would be like way out there though. I don't think anybody's going to do that, but we are going to be talking about spell blades here in just a little bit when we get to our water composition. A Sid, a universal, right? A universal slash unit that's really powerful. Uh, it does have access to lower defense, which Diablos is vulnerable to. So I think Sid is a unit that you could slide in and might actually be worth putting in your primary composition. If you don't have Gilgamesh, for example, uh, if you don't have access to, um, you know, maybe another unit that can lower resistances or anything like that, Sid is going to be a great substitute to put in. Uh, it's good to note that Sid can also lower thunder resistance as well. I don't think you'll be running a thunder composition, but you never know. Uh, Kane can lower pierce resistance. So we've been seeing a lot of pierce compositions and I know there's a lot of players like me who pierce composition is your main team. So if you are running a pierce composition, Kane is definitely a really good way to go. And if you are running an ice composition or again, uh, if maybe you are, you know, you have Oron and you wanna pair like Oron and Laswell instead of like Gilgamesh and Laswell, uh, Laswell does have the ability to lower ice resistance. So being able to lower resistances while dealing damage and increase your max damage 
is really powerful with raids. And what I love the most about raiding is that it's kind of a puzzle with whatever units you have and whatever units can really benefit you and your composition. Let's talk about some, some more compositions, but first I want to talk about the last kind of outlier unit, I would call them. I actually think Yerma is a very powerful outlier unit because Yerma, her limit break does lower resistances of the target. Um, so that's going to lower like slash resistance, etc., etc. So if you can get Yerma to reliably pull off her limit break and then just do uh, chaining with slash the rest of the time, uh, you're going to be fine. Uh, dark unit chains. Now this is really interesting because there's a lot of different routes you can go here. Of course, Venera is not featured on here, but you could put Venera for defense down. Uh, but we do have Ruin Stern in here. Uh, we also have regular Stern now who has access to slash resistance down. So you no longer have to put Gilgamesh in dark slash compositions. We have uh, Dwayne who has access to dark attack down, right? So you can lower dark resistance. And more importantly, we also have access to Ziza who does have access to both Dark Slash. Uh, Ziza also has, with her new ability, the capability to lower uh, unit attack resistance down, which is another way to increase your damage for Dark units. So while Diablos is a Dark unit himself, I do think that Dark Slash, as always, is just as powerful as it's always been and is completely viable for this raid. Uh, a good note here with Stern, uh, if you are going to be utilizing Stern, I would recommend putting Exorcist BC on him just because Stern with Triple Trick is a beast. And I would be really interested to see, uh, especially with his new 120 ability, I might actually try to level Stern this week just to experiment with it. But I would be interested to see if he does his Slash Resistance down first before prioritizing Triple Trick. Uh, it's something I definitely want to test and that I'm curious with. Now, kind of the last formation that I'm actually thinking about and that I actually think I'm gonna be running uh, is my water composition. Now this is way out of left field and it can only be run because of the amount of water power up that we've had in global, uh, specifically with the Zazan VC, uh, specifically with you know having Christmas Ramada, Christmas Victoria and Titus and yeah, it, it's just, it's beastly, right? Uh, you have to consider all of these units have mastery abilities except for Ildira that buff each other. Uh, Titus gets that additional attack 30% from this VC. All of these units are getting water slash up and water critical hit rate up. They're going to get water max HP up. We have the Zazan VC in here as well, which is going to give water unit attack up. And what's important for the Zazan VC, right, is that we are going to get water unit damage limit up as well. So not only is Titus going to break his limit, right? You're also going to have, you know, basically a VC that buffs both water units and gives them damage cap. Now we aren't even at the Phoenix raid yet, but when that comes out, this is going to be so powerful and so vital. And I, when I was trying to figure out what VC to buff here, I actually just went with uh, celebrating cross paths because that buffs the units with all elemental attack up 15. And I wanted to kind of get a magic up on Ildira because Ildira, since we're talking, we were talking about spell blades earlier, has access to water blades. So she as well can chain water and slash. And I know that might seem a little weird, a little crazy, but you have to understand that the mastery abilities from these water units is so powerful, right? You have Titus that's giving water unit allies max HP 10%, water attack 15. You have Christmas Ramada who is giving another water attack 15. That's water attack 30 on all of these units. That's like having a fifth VC in here, right? And then you have Christmas Victoria, which gives another plus, plus 15. So all of these water units are getting plus 45 water attack. Now you could do something else with water units here. You could throw in like Tyrell. And interestingly enough, Francesca uh, pointed out in one of the comments that I wrote on Monday or in my Monday news video that, you know, the Tyrell repeat is coming out this week. So we're kind of curious if Tyrell is going to get his 120 this week. Um, you could definitely, you know, use him. And I, I guess you're probably all wondering why on earth Christmas Victoria is in here too. Sorry, I'm just jumping all over the place, but Christmas Victoria, uh, sub Paladin, you can see I have nothing leveled under sub Paladin because I don't use her hardly. 
Uh, but she does have access to Taunting Blade, which is a water slash attack dealing large damage. It's very high AP, so we are going to have to probably put on, you know, something uh, like uh, Bells on her. She also has access to Blade Bash, which she'll be able to spam. So lots going on here. Uh, let's talk about some some of the other units you might use though, because there's a lot of units. And if you're maybe a newer player, a free to play player, you might be asking, well, how am I gonna clear this? Well, honestly, you might just go for slash compositions, right? You might just go for Mont. Mont would be a very powerful unit. Um, and I think you could probably clear running with a Mont slash composition utilizing like Mont and Tidus and probably some other type of slash units. If you're running an ice composition, right? Uh, probably a really underwhelming unit that a lot of people aren't thinking about is Nausha. Uh, Nausha, of course, is a very powerful MR ice unit, which I actually utilized in my ice solo comp of Trials of Reckoning. So if you have those MR fragments sitting around and you're wanting to run an ice slash comp, you could definitely consider running Nausha as well, and she will take care of you. Uh, in terms of wind compositions, you could always run Oldoa, right, with Triple Trick as well. Uh, I don't think you're going to be running Leela at all, but maybe if you're running a Holy Chaining composition, you will throw Leela in there. Uh, lightning composition, I actually looked at this and I was wondering like what I could utilize for Lightning, uh, but Sid and O were kind of the only two that I could think of off the top of my head. And if you are running Rain, I did think about mentioning Delita. Uh, potentially mentioning um, Raldor as well. And of course, uh, King Elda does have access for his 120 to a defense lowering ability as well. So lots to go off of here. Anyway, everybody, I hope this video helped you. Uh, I hope that you kind of understand, right, that you have access to a lot of different compositions for this raid because Diablos is weak to light element and slashing attack. And I can't wait to see what compositions you come up with. Uh, I am going to be streaming on Wednesday live, um, and I will be doing my 1 through 100 Diablos clear. Uh, so if you have raid questions, if you want to come hang out, uh, come say hi. I'll be running it. And uh, yeah, as always, everybody, uh, thank you so much for the support. You can always use dig.gs slash coins. And uh, have a great rest of your day.